great minds and everyone you are welcome back to learn with SOS my name is Steve Sebastian also KNUS School of Business final year and today I am honored to walk you through logic and critical thinking LCT162 in this video we are going to talk about the two rationales used in critical thinking that is arguments and explanations sometimes you might think you are given an argument not knowing you are rather given an explanation on the other hand too you might think you are explaining something not knowing you are giving an argument it happens to all of us and some speakers do it unintentionally sometimes we do it obviously not knowing whether what we are putting across is an argument or an explanation so you see it is not always easy to strike the distinction between an argument and an explanation however there are some generally accepted standards that can help us to know the difference between an argument and an explanation and before we get started please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share for more wonderful contents like this okay so let's crack on so as we have already established in our previous videos an argument is a group of statements that attempts to prove that something is the case by appealing to reasons so an argument is a group of statements so we can divide that group of statements into two parts we have the premises those are the reasons and we have the claim or the conclusion what the speaker is trying you to believe or understand so you can see that an argument always appeal to reasons an argument always have something to prove so an argument don't take evidence or proof for granted at all the opposite is an explanation where an explanation is a group of statements that assume that something is the case and proceed to explain why so as the name Kuno, an explanation explains the why and they take evidence for granted they don't they don't prove anything they just take the thing as the way it is then they go on to explain why it is that now the next diagram will help us to understand the, the, the distinction between an argument and an explanation very well now there's a diagram we have established already that critical thinking is all about inferences that is moving from the premises or the reasons to the conclusion and in doing that we use two rationales that is an argument and an explanation let's start with an explanation from the diagram you can realize that an explanation answers the question why is that so so when a group of statements is explaining the why of a matter or a problem is an explanation and an explanation have two sides we have the cause and the fact sides so the cause of an explanation are the reasons and the, the, the claim or the conclusion of an explanation is the fact so you can see that explanations appeal to facts however an argument answers the question how do you know the moment someone asks you how do you know they are looking for what proof evidence so an argument to have two parts we have the reason part or the reasons part that is the evidence and we have the claim part that is the conclusion so an argument move 
from the evidence or the reasons or the premise to the conclusion or the claim. From the diagram, we can see that explanations answer the question why and they move from cause to fact. Arguments answer the question how do you know and they move from evidence to claim. Now let's know the following. The following, if we put it at the back of our mind, it will always help us to know which statement is an argument and which is an explanation. An explanation tells you why something happened. An argument tells you why you should believe in something. So an argument go beyond the why. An argument has something to prove all the time. Explanation do not prove anything. They take proof for granted. An argument appeal to reasons. An explanation appeal to facts. Knowledge is to argument. Understanding is to explanation. So we use arguments to expand our knowledge in a subject matter. However, we use an explanation to understand a subject matter. So you see, they are all equally important in critical thinking. We just want to know the distinction between the two. Now let's look at the following um, examples to see if we can determine which statement is an argument and which is an explanation. Example one, we have two statements here. Enya stole the money, for three people saw him. Enya stole the money because he needed to buy food. Let's begin with the first statement. Just picture yourself as in, in the court of law. Picture yourself as you've been accused of stealing money. You are Enya. Let's take ourselves as Enya. We are in court. We are going to defend whether or not we stole the money. So our accuser says to us that Enya stole the money because he has three witnesses. Loretta, Rich Love, Isi saw Enya steal the money that is an evidence to support the claim that Enya stole the money so the first statement is an argument because the moment three people have seen you or the moment three people uh, caught you or saw you stealing the money 